Has Brexit ruined UK trade or has it opened us up to the rest of the world? Let's start by speaking to Martin Fletcher, a journalist and author. Martin, thank you for joining me this afternoon. What do you think of the um, concerns raised in this report? Well, it's not just the Public Accounts Committee, of course. The Office of Budget Responsibility said that uh, Brexit will knock 4% off Britain's GDP on a long-term basis. And 4% is a lot of money. That's a lot of money that's not going to go into local services helping Red Wall voters. It's not just the Office of Budget Responsibility. It's Lord Frost, it's Brexiters saying where are the, you know, who are upset with the government because they haven't, gen Brexit hasn't generated the benefits that they were promised. Um, I mean, I would throw the question back at you, Nana. I, 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 it distresses me, but I think we're going to disagree again. Can you name a single industry or sector of commerce that has benefited from Brexit? Any, anyone. I mean, it's not the fishermen, it's not the farmers, it's not our car industry, it's not artists and musicians who now have to get visas to go Is to Is that a rhetorical any... question? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'll tell you what I think. Sorry, I think, first of all, um, it's it, way it, too it, soon to determine well, not, that. Well, I think you... Yeah, but, but, but this is something that requires time, as you know. Um, the, some of the structures haven't yet been properly put in place. And as you know, it was very difficult to even get Brexit over the line because there was so much antagony from people who were, were actually trying to oppose a democratic vote. So I personally think that it's not been given enough time. And we've had a pandemic well, to deal with as well. So really and truly, to, in answer to your question, I suspect there will be quite a lot of winners. There will always be losers. We know this. Uh, but right now, I, 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 looking at the industries, the, the pandemic probably had a lot of effect on it. So it would be di very difficult to work out really what's currently happening with the whole situation, if I'm honest. Well, two years. We've had six years since the referendum. Six years to prepare. And we were told the countries would be queuing up to do trade deals with us. Where are they? And where in particular is the one with America that we were promised? They haven't materialised. Boris Johnson, after he became prime minister, promised that Britain would ping off the guy ropes and be unleashed. I've seen no evidence of this. Then we now have Reece, Jacob Rees-Mogg, who's made the Brexit, and he's going to readers of The Sun asking for ideas for cutting red tape. I mean, you know, if this red tape was so oppressive when we were in the European Union, Surely we'd have had some idea of how to get rid of it. What, in fact, we've done is replaced a whole layer of EU bureaucracy with a whole new layer of red tape and bureaucracy that is generated by us.